Hi friends, it's Bridget. I want to make some ornaments. I am all about my stars. Here are some photos of the outside of my cottage, my studio. I'm absolutely in love with this little place. And I have some stars out there lit up. It gets dark really early in Vermont. I want to make some little stars out of fabric just to continue on my theme here. And I'm going to have some fun with that today. I cut these skewers down from store-bought skewers. These were started at like nine and three quarter inches, but I cut these down to seven. I didn't want the stars to be really big. I want to try to either hang these on my tree, but also I think this would be a great year round ornament. You could hang this on your window because I'm going to do these in my Liberty scraps here. And I have pulled out some extra thin ones because I'm going to weave in and out is my idea. I have a darning needle to help me. So I'm going to do that and see how that turns out. And then also I have these ornaments that have been laying around my shop for a long time. I don't really care for them. It's got a little nick over here. So I'm going to cover those, try to cover them in some Liberty scrap as well with some Mod Podge and we'll see how that goes. So that's my project here. I have a little bit of a cold, so I hope that I'm not coughing or sneezing too much here, but I really wanted to make something and I hope you guys are all well and let's get started and try to put one of these little stars together and see if we can come up with something pretty that we like. I'll be right back after I iron some of these thinner scraps out. So I first have to make my star and I do find that they're a little feisty at the beginning here. <laughs> I'm using my skewers and as I said, I cut these to seven inches. I do have some regular sticks here from outside which I thought would be pretty, but skewers might be something that are more readily available, I'm not sure, in your area. For the first one, I'm just going to try to get it stable. That's, there's always a beginning that is a little feisty. Actually, I'm just going to, con you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go and do twist around if I can. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get this first piece. <laughs> it's always hard starting anything. Okay. There we go. I'm just going around and around here. See if I can get this situated. And I'm using this red here so that hopefully you guys can see it. So now I'm just going to do a square knot left over right and under and right over left and under again. Okay, so that's, that's my first step. And that's pretty stable. And now I'm gonna do that again. I'm just gonna take another piece, give myself some room here. Now I'm just going to do that again. Now with one of them, I'm going to do the same thing on one corner. So I'm going to take another piece. And this is just number eight pearl cotton. Thank you. 
All right, and right now I'm just going to call it for a minute. Oops. <laughs> well, you can see not everything goes according to plan in Bridget's world. <laughs> That's okay. I just want to see if I can get it to where I really kind of want it. Okay, that's going to be good enough. I'm getting one of these clips on here if it takes all day. <laughs> here we go. There we go. All right. I think I just need one at the moment. I'm going to... <laughs> this is funny. I hope you guys are laughing. <laughs> All right. I can get it to there, but I've got to be able to hold it so I can string it. I'm going for the big boys. Okay. These are large wonder clips. I think a, a clothespin would work great too. So I just wanted to see how I, okay, so that's looking really nice. So that's how it's going to look. Now I just have to finish off these two ends and I will do that and fast forward. So, but I wanna let you know that right now all I am doing is taking these two corners, this one and this one, and doing the same exact thing. But I'm having these helpers keep my star in place. And I'm sure one that had more dexterity could use the smaller ones, but they're not working for me. So let me finish that. Just do that and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. I took my wonder clips off, but they are handy to help me once I position this. So I would say these are definitely, I don't know where I got these. I don't see them that often. I will look online and see if I can put a link in the description because for my bag making, these larger ones are very, very good. So now I just want to position it before I put some in the center here. It's a little, you know, a little crazy for this second. So now I want to see, I mean, do I want it whimsical? Oops, I lost one. <laughs> We're laughing again, still laughing, but that's okay. I can fix that. That's easy. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am laughing so hard right now. It's just too funny. This is just funny. So I'm going to repair this and start over. But you know how I am. I'm not leaving out the mistakes. So I'm just going to go through this process again. <laughs> I'm going to do it and fast forward. And I am, this is just the highlight of my day because life is just something silly sometimes. So <clears throat> excuse me, it's making me get my, my cough acted up. But let me just go ahead and I'll do this in fast forward and I'll get it back together and get my wonder clips on it because I think the thing to do is once I do that is to not fiddle with it so much and get the interior situated. I am going to take some little pieces. I probably could have taken a bigger piece to not drive myself crazy, but now I'm just going to go into these areas right here and do a square knot on them.
I am now just going to take, we not even need the darning needle, but I think it's gonna come in handy when I start weaving in and out. Let's see if I can get this threaded. There we go. So I just want to go around the perimeter here. Actually, I don't really even know if I, I guess it will be helpful. So I'm just coming through. I just want to try to brace this. And give it, because I want to do some weaving with the scraps is what I'm thinking. So I just want to go around and now I'm coming down this end and I'm just going around that end through it. And then I'm going to come back through. And this would be super fun just to do with yarn. I think any kind of yarn would be fun. Pretty embellishing yarns would be beautiful. I'm going to come around again. And this is how I do the stars outside with the lights. I put the lights on the outside. I'm coming through to create a loop without getting knotted up. Oh, knotted up. Some of these strips are long. Okay, I'm trying to maneuver my stars. I'm going. I'm coming around again.
I'm not really sure what I think about this. I had my embroidery hoop holder as a helper that helped and made it more fun. I didn't have a plan as usual. I wanted to weave it. I guess it is woven. I'm not sure if I like these poking out. I think I need to live with it for a little bit. It is jingly. I think I might put it on a windowsill. I'm not sure I'm going to hang it on my tree. I think I probably would want to cut these maybe, but I'm a little worried about cutting them because I don't want it to fall apart. But it would be kind of cute just hanging on the windowsill or leaning on the windowsill. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And now I want to try to <laughs> see what I could do with these things. Hopefully that won't be as taxing. I don't like these gold things. I'm getting rid of them. I'm going to put a ribbon on them or something. Let me just do one to start. I have some Mod Podge here. I have my paintbrush. I have a little water. And I have some larger pieces of Liberty. And I have my little Jello tin. And I don't think it's going to stick to that. So I'm just going to keep moving it around and using that as a holder. And I will be doing that in fast forward. And we'll see how that one goes. I. I felt like I was a little frustrated with the star. I really wanted it to speak to me a little more than it is, but we don't know till we try. So I tried.
I feel like that one's smoother than the Star Project ornament for me. And it's awfully cute. I love it. I'm going to let this dry. I almost think I could use like a poly acrylic on top, but I don't have any handy. So I'm just going to let it dry and it may be fine, Matt. I'm not going to be standing so close to it like this at my, my Christmas tree, I hope. If I am, that's going to be a little strange, but I love it. It's awfully cute. And it will forever remind me of the Year of Liberty scrap, which I've used so much this year in my first year of my YouTube, which has been so fun. I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back and take a look and see what we think. I love how these came out. I think that I could use some white chalk paint on the glass first, and they might be more vibrant. I'm not sure, but I am going to experiment with that. It kind of dulled these colors, as you can see. That's the blue. They still are very pretty, in my opinion. I am going to hang them on my tree. I love them. I don't even think I'm going to repack them into my Christmas box after the holidays. I'm going to hang them in a window. This came out really cute. I am going to snip this right here. Now I'm scared, but I'm doing it because <laughs> I don't like the points. Okay, there we go. I like it much better, I think, already. And I think I might put a dab of glue. Oops. Careful not to shoot anyone in the eye. All right. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And I think I might put a dab of glue. Oh, I like that much better. And I think just put a little tie at the top in addition to this one. Just going to go around like this. It's very cute. Oh, that's nice. I love it. And I think I'll just snip that other piece off here. Okay. I definitely like it without the pieces of skewer hanging off the edge. So that's my project. Making my ornaments. I already started another one. I love them. 
I hope you guys had a little bit of a laugh while I was laughing with my mistakes. I do want to say I put timestamps in my videos now so that people can jump ahead because there is a lot of fumbling around time sometimes and that's just to me what creativity is about. It's about having fun and making mistakes but always keeping it fun and certainly always having a sense of humor, especially with yourself and being kind to yourself. And I hope we are all trying to do that because we have to keep practicing and have to keep trying. That's what this is all about. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And I would love it if you would subscribe. I am approaching my one year anniversary. I'm super excited that I've been on YouTube for one year and I have loved doing this and communicating with so many of you. I appreciate your sharing and I'm loving being part of this community. I have some more special projects coming up to celebrate my one year anniversary. And I hope you'll join me. And until next time, keep creating. Have fun out there. Bye.